To start with, tropism is the orientation of a plant in response to a certain stimulus like light, touch, and gravity. These are associated with plant hormones such as the well-known hormone which is dioxin. The mentioned plant hormone is significant and directly affects the plant growth. It accumulates in the unlighted region or simply known as the root tips zone of elongation. For this experiment, the group tested whether some of the mentioned stimuli, which is the light and gravity, affects the growth of the plant through phototropism and gravitropism, or if these have adverse effects towards the plant. For the procedure under phototropism, there were four different setups of four inch long malabar spinach, or simply known as alubati. The first setup was a potted plant placed by the window. The second one was placed in a cabinet. The third one was placed in a shoebox with a lid and a hole with one extreme side. And the last one was placed in a shoebox with a lid and a hole, but it is found at the center. This experiment was necessary to observe and identify the effects of light in relation to the plant's directional growth. For the geotropism experiment, 16 mung bean seedlings, or simply known as mungos, were germinated by putting these in a saucer with a wet paper towel until these have roots that are 1 cm in length. These then were placed and divided in 4 large plastic cups with different orientations, which are directly downward, upward, horizontal, and horizontally but with 1 mm of root tip excised. This is to observe gravity as a stimuli and how this affects the plant growth. After 5 days, the plant became healthier than the other setups which there was little to no sunlight. This is so because the sun was present thus making the plant healthier and was able to survive. Oxin was secreted since there was enough amount of stimuli which is light in this case. What we can observe, the leaves of the plants have slowly wilted and become paler day by day due to the fact that the plant was in etiolation. Compared to the first day where the alubati was still short and erect, on its fourth day, it grew a little bit longer but was bent towards the hole at the extreme side. It is as if the alubati was going towards the light source since the oxen accumulated at the unlighted side. As days passed, the leaves turned yellow and it bent towards the light source and oxen had accumulated on the unlighted side in order for this to happen. The most rapid root elongation is setup A where the root grows directly downward. This shows that the growing root tips can sense gravity or positive gravitropism since oxen was accumulated and promotes root initiation. The next ones will show us the difference of the remaining setups with different type slots. The plant hormone, which was visibly essential in this experiment, which is auxin, causes elongation. Specifically in the shoot tips, this displays positive phototropism and negative gravitropism, while in roots, auxin here is negatively phototropic since they accumulate in the root tips. The accumulation signals the plant's root tips to grow downward with the aid of statocytes. This then regulates apical dominance, thus influences the growth and elongation of apical meristems in both shoot and root tips.
generally, dimension stimuli, which was light and gravity, affects and contributes to the overall plant's growth. It was observable that in phototropism, the plants grow towards the stimulus, which is the light, whilst in geotropism, the growth of the roots was affected by gravity. This exhibits positive gravitropism, which grows in its accordance. Ano? This exhibits positive gravitropism, which grows in its accordance. Auxin, a plant hormone, has different effects between the shoot and root system and therefore is essential for plant growth.